This is National 5 exam practice homework. We're using the standard grade credit 2000 question 1. In January 1999, it was estimated that the number of monkeys in our colony was 5,000. The number of monkeys is decreasing at a rate of 12% per year. How many monkeys are expected to be in the colony in January 2002? So that's going to be a three-year period there. So I'm interested in three years. And let's see, I have to give my answer to the nearest 10 at the end. So I've got a bit of rounding to do at the end. Right then, so I know that uh, the number of monkeys is decreasing at a rate of 12%. So decreasing at 12%. So when I do this type of calculation, I want to know how many are left. So it would be 100% take away 12% would give me 88% monkeys left at the end of every year. So that will be per annum. OK, so if I've got that, I know that uh, a decimal multiplier would be 0 0.88 for this one here. Right, so let's set the, the, uh, the calculation up. So the number of monkeys that are going to be left in the colony. So a number of monkeys um, expected to be in the colony. And this is going to be after three years, January 2002, and that's three year period, is going to be equal to the number that we start with, which will be uh, 5,000 monkeys. We're going to multiply that by this multiplier that's here. And because it's the three years, I'm going to put that to the power of three. And what that should do, it should give me the answer from there. So put that just straight into the calculator and cube this number here. And that should give me 3407.36. Uh, to give my answer to the nearest 10, so what I'll do is I'll be giving it to 3, 4, and I'm just going to round that to there. That's going to go up to 10, and that's going to be monkeys. Okay, so th this question here is going to be out of four marks, and let's see where we're going to get them. Right, so I'm going to get one mark at the end. I'm going to get one mark for this one here. I'll get uh, one mark for, let's go for setting this whole thing up correctly here. One mark for making sure that I use it cubed, okay? And one mark for making sure I've got the correct multiplier in there. So that's where my four marks are going to come. One mark here, one mark for setting this part up correctly with the, the cubed part there and working out the answer. So that'll be out of four marks.